Half-Life 2 will release as a native virtual reality game on September 16th, 2022. Over six years in the making, this project has gone through the hands of dozens of developers, went on hiatus twice, and was only stopped from cancellation by Dr. Beef and Cannibalistic early last year. The fruits of this labor will finally see a full release soon, and it does play much like a game built from the ground up for virtual reality. I've had contact with the HL2 VR team since before the Steam Greenlight page went up in May of 2017. At that point, the game barely ran. With the overhead to process the VR image over top the already running game was too much for most systems of the time. Very few features worked, or even existed, with weapon swapping and movement defaulting to Valve's original Oculus Rift V1 prototype software. Porting Valve's original 2013 VR work to more modern systems was the goal, and those modern systems were the first Vive and the first commercial Oculus Rift. Back when that shipped with just an Xbox controller. The team ballooned when the Greenlight campaign passed with a 95% yes vote of over 16,000 ballots, and the scope exploded. Thus began the first significant production era, with very little work being completed. At this time, the team's original Slack server discussed partnerships with major companies, such as HTC, Nvidia, and even Valve. I had the Steam build and watched the game update with no real actual progress. The game had received significant attention from players and the press, but still, as an insider, I did not foresee a release, at least in this state. The team spent a lot of time on strange ways of translating Half-Life 2's mechanics into virtual reality, such as allowing Gordon to open a pocket portal into a small island on Zen, on which the player would store weapons. Unfortunately, it did not run well. It didn't allow for the number of firearms Half-Life 2 contained, and the team didn't finish, worst of all, the essential action of grabbing objects before this strange inventory system was created. Then, the project went silent for years, the code base sitting on the team's server and the Steam build remaining stagnant the entire time. We've discussed this, but Dr. Beef, the creator behind Quest 2 ports of many classic FPS games, was considering bringing this project back from the dead, with the majority of the heavy lifting being done by longtime collaborator Cannibalistic. They cut down the code base significantly, starting from scratch in many significant areas and refining systems to better meet the expectations of VR players in a post-HLA world. The Steam build started getting weekly updates, and the game took a legitimate shape after years. Earlier this year, VR content creators were given access to an alpha to show off the many parts of the game that were finished and build excitement. Now we're only two weeks away from the project's first public release after over five years. And I have to assure those listening that this is almost precisely what you want it to be. A full playthrough of the game will go live on launch day. But until then, we only have to wait a little longer. 